I am working on a 2017 Ram Cummins 2500 with the coil springs and I got this foreign kit uh, it's drag uh, track bar link and uh, first of all I've got this here these pictures are so dark that you really can't see anything uh, at all so these pictures that they send the instructions are garbage very aggravating here's the other aggravating part so here's where your here's where your original track bar is goes right through there and goes right up into there so you pull this off and this is the part where you're going to have these brackets okay you've got these these two brackets here if you can Get a good look at them. Okay, so you've got bolts that are going here, here, and here. Those are the those are the three that you got to drill because there there is drilling required. So what you're doing is you got two holes here and here. These are already here. They're just smaller. You got to drill them out. But if you drill those out uh, exactly where the the small hole is and you just go to a half inch which is what you're supposed to do um, that's not going to be perfectly right at least with these holes that they that they put in right there these bolts do not fit so if you've you look at it i've had to wall these out a little bit back to give me room to get that bolt in so it's been a real aggra aggravation to do that now luckily I'm in my buddy's shop and he's got some tools. Now I can't uh, remember what these things are called but this is a, uh, I don't have very good light anymore, my battery's going dead. But this is some kind of a, a drill bit that uh, that I am using to wallow those out because you know obviously a, a drill bit will not will not do that. But this little cutting tool uh, works really well. So if you're going to tackle this, you're definitely going to have problems with these holes probably not lining up. So you're going to have to have this special drill bit here to uh, you drill your hole and then you're going to come back a little bit um, to get these bolts in. Now this one here was a little difficult because this is in the way and uh, there's not a lot of room to get up in there. Uh, this The metal here is also thicker. So this is a much harder hole to drill. Um, and I have used, and it's supposed to be like I said, a half inch, and I've used uh, two different bits, and they're pretty much both toast doing this. So like I said, you got, you're gonna have these two. Now, uh, here is the brake line, if you can see, it. and there is a little plastic tab. This tab goes up in this hole. Now I made a stupid mistake of drilling the wrong hole the first time so I drilled this hole out which is no big deal because I'm gonna have to re-drill the hole here for this little clip to go in not a big deal but definitely uh, a, a wasted step I wouldn't have to do so anyway the, these two are the ones that you're gonna have to drill out and then then uh, that one right there if you can see it um, that one's also very difficult because they say you don't have to take off your wheel, your tire, or jack it up or anything. Well, uh, the brake caliber is, I don't know if you can see that, but see the, the brake caliber is in the way. So you have to drill from this side, but once the part, let me show you here, once the part is on, See, you, 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 can't, uh, you can't drill, so you have to drill, so you can't, you know, it's very hard to do this, so you can't get that hole lined up perfectly, because that's in the way, so you have to drill it without, so you're guessing, uh, you know, where that, let's get another flash right here, okay, you're guessing right where that hole is, you're guessing where that is, now mine was off a bit, so it made it a little, a little difficult to get the, bolt in but it it did go in uh so you're gonna have to watch that uh, making sure you're get it, getting it over to the right just a little bit farther than i did and maybe down a pinch 
Um, but that bolt uh, was an aggravation, but it, it is going to go in. And then, like I said, these uh, these two right here are definitely going to be a problem because uh, these don't perfectly line up. And uh, so, anyway, you, you are going to have a, a fight with it. Um, you're going to have to probably have uh, at least two brand new, uh, good quality half inch drill bits. Uh, you probably, probably better just have three. And I'm going to be willing to bet that you're going to have to have um, one of these little little drill bits, whatever these things are called. Um, there's an another one, kind of a little bit different. It's on an air, air tool. So anyway, uh, I'm pulling a pretty heavy fifth wheel and this is supposed to kind of stabilize it a little bit better, um, fix some of the, the issues that these uh, ram leaf spring, or excuse me, coil spring trucks give you. And I've got airbags, but I need a little bit more, so I'm hoping this will will uh, fix my issue. But anyway, um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be an aggravation, and uh, just beware. Uh, this is not not easy, and you're going to definitely have to have some some special tools. So anyway, uh, for any of you guys tackling this, uh, good luck. Hey guys, uh, back to you with a follow-up video on the Thorin track bar uh, kit for a 2014 plus Ram 2500 with coil springs. This is an RV, uh, Triton 3351. Not massive, but uh, it's had quite a bit of weight to it. So let me just kind of go over real quick uh, this this kit. And do a little recap. Uh, kind of showed you the trailer that that I pull. Most most situations, I don't have a problem. But uh, as some of you might experience, these Ram 2500 coil springs uh, are not really ideal for tow and heavy. Uh, you know, something small like uh, that gooseneck over there with a pickup or van on it, it handles great, no problems. But with my big RV. Uh, it has uh, situations that are, are not good at all. Uh, if you get into a situation where the road is, is uneven, uh, especially coming on and off uh, bridges or overpasses, or if you get a road that's got a section of kind of a, kind of gives you like a roller coaster effect, you're gonna have some, uh, feel some uneasiness, uh, maybe even some white knuckle moments with, with the way this is set up. So, Thorin has this track bar that supposedly is gonna fix at least some of that. So this is it installed with better light. And this is the bracket that in my first video I complained about. And it just goes right up here to the factory mount. So, uh, a pretty simple thing. It's just not simple to install. Like I said, these, uh, the holes for these bolts are there. You just have to drill them out bigger, but they're not, sit in the right place so this bracket the holes don't match up with the, those factory holes and so you got to kind of spread them out a little bit with a with a special kind of drill bit uh, so that's an aggravation uh, then there's another bolt back in here that you have to get to that is uh, also wasn't quite drilled right and, and a bit difficult to get in and part of the problem with that is the uh, you got to you got to drill, but you have you can't keep any of this part up there while you're drilling to make sure that your hole is going where you want it. So you're kind of guessing, um, and you can't see this way to mark it because part of the bracket is in your way. Now the easier way to do that hole would be to take well I don't know if it'd be easier, but you could at least have a better chance of getting it right is to take your tire off and your brake caliber now they tell you you don't have to do that but uh, to not have to fight this hole that's inside here that would be the way to do it and that way you can get your drill uh, in here with your bracket your inside bracket um, left in place now there's two brackets here so this one wouldn't be there but your other one you could leave in place and then you'd get your your hole inside here drilled uh, correctly 
but I tried to do it the other way and, and it didn't come out so right. Um, the other problem is, is once your bolts are in there, there's two or three of them that are very difficult to get to. And they say that uh, some of these bolts need 100 foot pounds uh, and and these these big ones here need a, and that one there need 160 foot pounds. Well, uh, there you can't uh, the one of them in here you can't get a socket in there to to torque it so you're just using wrenches so it's just guesswork there um, and if you have airbags you're gonna see that there's a bolt right there that's pretty pretty tight and so I had to put in some spacers uh, that I had laying around to try to keep it from uh, possibly hitting the airbag in, in any situation so you may run into that um, and so that makes it uh, tough to get to and I had a problem with this one because uh, with the exhaust here uh, I couldn't get a socket on here for the for a big uh, torque wrench and I couldn't even with extensions I had a hard time reaching this bolt uh, straight on so when I started to tighten it down it, it wanted to pop off there because there's not a straight angle so uh, anyway those are the problems I fought uh, I didn't have any good videos on YouTube that I could watch when I put it on so I thought uh, I'd kind of do a little little video now that it's installed and uh, you can see that bracket right there uh, that's the inside bracket so all in all uh, it's on but I fought with it and like I said in my first video you're definitely going to need some uh, 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 at least three, at least two, but I would say three uh, half inch drill bits and uh, a couple of those special uh, drill bits that I showed in my previous video uh, to kind of help wallow those those hold out those holes out a little bit. So uh, anyway, uh, catch you later. Uh, hopefully this is helpful to y'all. See ya.